Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design. I'm back with the collage book. So we're up to 18, which is tissue paper. Experiment with adding pieces of colored tissue paper to a collage to create sheer layers that enhance and slightly mask the images that lie beneath. Okay, so like he's got tissue there. That's not colored though. Here, here here and then kind of around here this bluish greenish I have used tissue paper once or twice probably that's it once or twice just a minute I'm running out of room to put stuff so I've got I do have some color tissue papers although it's not a big variety of colors I've got two index cards here and I've got two pictures of Rudolph Valentino because why not I don't know. <laughs> They're off the internet. This one I did goof around with the, you know, the settings to make it look a little scratchier. For lack of a better word, that's the way my brain's working today, scratchier. So anyway, this is a snippet. I don't know, does that look dumb? Yeah, that's dumb. I thought maybe that'd be kind of cute, like the chair or whatever it is, is whispering to him now that it's dumb. I don't have any big ideas and the couple times I did use tissue paper I just you know really used a little snippet of it so actually I haven't done this for a while I've been working on some notebooks for my Etsy shop I went, you know, Diane, you better get on the Easter cards. So I actually, I was doing that just now, but I thought I was entitled to a break. And who better to break with than Rudolph Valentino, right? And yeah, this is all like monochromatic neutral stuff. This did have a lot more color on them. Okay, do we want some sort of pop of color? I just had my leftover box here on the side over there but um i've got magazines and stuff nearby too i don't know i don't know what what is rudolph calling for no that's too girly How about bricks? Is that manly enough for you? Mm. Yeah, I thought I had Easter cards ready to go from last year, you know, and I thought I better check that. And it's a good thing I did because I was wrong. I didn't. And besides the fact, I thought Easter was <laughs> my brain lately I thought it was the Easter was 10 to 11 12 somewhere in there and I double checked that now it's the fourth oh good I have even less time than I thought and just in case you're curious I'm not making those you know as a video because I just didn't think it was that Interesting. I was going to try to keep them a little simple this year, so. Actually, I want to see the end. It's kind of cute. Um, yeah. I just found this online. It's an old. Be my main image. Isn't that kind of cute? Yeah, okay, Diane, we're all thrilled. All right, well, I kind of like that. So we might glue that as is. And then come back and do tissue paper. Is that that the plan? 
I guess. Now this one, you rarely, and I mean this might even be it, see a picture of Rudolph with his hair mussed up. That's kind of cute. And yes, it's warmer out, and I have my windows open, and I just heard my neighbors come outside, so ignore them. Or I don't know, maybe they actually, maybe they're more interesting. Hey, you want to listen to my neighbors? Might be more interesting than what I'm going to talk about. I right, about this instead. I think the palette goes better. Speaking of Easter, I, I should have made up my mind. Is this an Easter video or a tissue paper collage video? All right, well, if I can just snip it in something there for the top and bottom. We need that. It's running the wrong way. What's this? Okay, something about flowers. We're talking about pests on flowers. Did you know? Um, Rudolph actually went to college. I like, I'm not sure if it was like a, it was kind of like a college, but when he was a teenager, more so, more like high school age, how they used to do it in Italy. I, look it up. I'm sorry. But for our agriculture, so there's your Valentino trivia for today. Packaging. It's kind of heavy. I don't know if I want it on there. And I'm not sure if I'm overly excited about it anyway. I don't know. Is that cool or is that just way too... Eh, I think it's too bold. Okay, next. What about a film thing? My husband found these and all his, you know, guy stuff. He thinks it's old from a relative. And we're not even sure what they are, but they're some kind of film things. I don't know what they're for. But anyway, they're kind of fun. Well, that could be something. Do we want the cherub thing on this one? Nah, I don't think that color's going to go. Well, um, that's, we need something here, don't you think? A number of... Uh, a flower, uh, any other big suggestions? Well, those colors aren't bad. I don't know if it goes with him. I mean, we already have flowers over here. Oh. Alright, I may use that. No, that's too similar to the background. 
but groovy. How about not? And of course, if we put, well, I shouldn't say if, when we put uh, tissue over, it's going to obviously tone down whatever it's on. So, I don't know. That's my big assessment. I don't know. I kind of like that. All right, I'll pause and glue and come back. Okay, it's glued. I didn't do these little film things yet because I thought maybe we don't want that under tissue. Not sure. And this one, I got this color up under more than I wanted, so I added a little more on top of it, and I put a little number there. So we're up to crinkly tissue paper, and I'm sorry. It's probably going to crinkle at everybody. What about this green on this one? And I have no idea if different, you know, like most tissue paper nowadays has one side that's like coated, shiny. If um, that matters, can you even find, you know, tissues that aren't like that? I don't know. All right, and explain, why do they do that? Well, that's kind of neat. I think I want this side torn though. And here's a question. Which side is really right? If you were going to wrap a present, do you have, I've seen it both ways. Do you have the shiny side up or the duller side up? Personally, I like duller, but I don't know if that's correct. Should we ask the Hallmark company? I need a turquoise color tissue paper. <laughs> yeah, could he like supply us with... Yeah, that is not going to work, this light blue. That's going to look yucky. And I kind of hate cutting into a whole piece of tissue paper for a little snippet. But that's what we're doing, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think I really like it over the dark. Do you like it over the dark? A little bit? Yeah, he didn't say how much you have to use. If I want to do a snippet, that's my business, right? A little, little snippet. Well, let's try that there. I suppose you can um, layer it too to get different color effects. Now the only thing is, I'm not totally sure how it's going to dry. Is it going to dry exactly like that? And I imagine where you put glue is going to matter, or how you glue, or your type of glue. See, that's a lot of variables there to me. I move my mouse. I think my glue stick is about shot. Well, that's kind of neat. What about that? I suppose you could use sewing pattern tissue. That's, you know, tan. It's called a color, right? Do have that around too. Well, it's kind of neat. I don't know. I think we need something though, like a film strip. Actually, that's not as stupid as I thought it was going to look. Let's think about that. Think about that one. All right, this one. I don't think I want this green. I need a lavender color which we do not have. 
Well, all right, what about that light blue? Or maybe I'll have to go to sewing tissue. All right, hold your ears, crinkling. okay I just don't know that I like it that much let me see about pattern although you know to using colored tissue am I cheating or missing the point <laughs> would be the first time right <laughs> like it but I don't really like the line it's leaving here so can we eliminate that or is that going to look dumb so you won't know until you try yeah, okay that's doable all right let's just put that on And my dog is kind of breathing heavy. Not quite snoring, but getting there. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I don't think I like this blue on here. I think it's too um, bright, cheery, chipper of a color for what we've got going on here. And I know I've had those to go on here, so <laughs> I can get more. I have more, or we can put something else on here, or maybe we don't need something else on here. Didn't say you can't paint or sew or anything either, right? Or stamp. She needs a rubber stamp up here for another arrow. She needs another arrow. Of course, <laughs> this is all I've got handy. I've got more. A lot more, actually. All right, let's see about this one. What would these look like? It's kind of cool, but do we have to go all the way up to, you know, this... Want it even off? I don't know. And I think on. Alright, you know what? I won't let you, or let you, make you, or let you, watch me glue these tedious little strips. I'm going to put a strip on this side and see about the other side and look for another arrow of sewing tissue because that's nowhere near me. i got to pause. I'll be right back. Okay, these, you know, strip things are glued down. Um, I went to get, you know, more arrow tish on tissue, and I pulled one out and went, oh, that's blue. Put it back. I pulled another one. Oh, that's blue. So I went too bad, and so we're using blue. So I'm not sure where I want it, though. We want it over here. It's not bad, because um, I originally, you know, had thought of there. I don't know. I think that's just too tight with the other arrow there. Or, or down here. I kind of like that. All right. I'm gonna hit this with some glue stick that yeah it's <laughs> may not work 
Come on, way at the top. No, you know what I mean. The thing is that way at the top. So you can't get the glue stick out because it's all hard plastic. And nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Should I stop this segment and start it over again? Yeah, I would. I think I got that too far over. I wonder if this will peel off. No. Alright, fine. Okay. That's okay. I still like maybe a little rubber stamping right there. Just a second. Like um you know, letters, text kind of a thing. I guess this one's okay. It's so little, it's hard to see what they are anyway. Yeah, actually I like that. Okay, that's fine for that. Um, yeah, I don't know, Rudy. Let me hold it up a second. It's fine. I, it's not. It's not overly, you know, exciting or anything. I. It's not yellow. I have a yellow here. Just a little tiny snippet in my garbage, just to see. I think it's kind of bright. Let's let's try it. It does add, doesn't it? All right. Considering that's our assignment, I will do this. If it wasn't, I may not have. Oh, glue stick. Hang on a minute. I've got more. See? Like, oh, good. I was just going to say, a lot of times when they're brand new, I can't get them open, but that one was pretty easy. Yeah, that's kind of, actually, that kind of is kind of cool. It brightens it up somehow. Okay, um, I'm not wild about this. It's a line there. Should we put yellow tissue on it? I know what that sound was, even though I'm not looking at it. I'm sure you do too. Here, come on there. Nah, no, I don't like that. What about, I've got gesso right here. What if we just knock it out with gesso? Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I'm not liking this either. It's such a straight line. Well, <laughs> it's a crooked line that's, you know, not torn. I don't like that. Okay, that's better. All right, I don't like this. <laughs> eh, I think I need a brush for that. better. What about this? It's kind of like a corner that doesn't need to be there. Okay. Not bad, Rudy. All right. What about this one? I kind of thought the same thing. Does it need a little gessoing? A little just it's just too something right there. Yeah, I think that's better. Let me hold this one up. 
think it needs a black line on the bottom. What about a tissue line? Of course, I don't have one. This one's curved. No, I don't want a curved line. All right, let me wash my hand here and I will look for a black tissue line and this brush. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a double line and got it kind of crooked, which I'm not real, really thrilled with. So I was sort of, you know, forcing it and tearing it a little bit, which is okay, just so it wouldn't look crooked. But I mean, you can tell it's crooked, but it looks a little more intentional. Okay, I don't like this. So I thought, well, paint or something, but I just happened to catch my painty papers out of the corner of my eye in this color. Yeah, that'd do it. All right, let's try that. Okay. And I did not trim this. Or this. And the gesso is not dry. Okay, this one, I think, I think that's done. Hold it up. I think uh, when it's dry, I might go around the edges with black ink. This one, I think, what about a little yellow tissue? Hmm. Well, what about a little bit of it? Not all the way down. Yeah. Okay, we'll try that. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about this? <laughs> yeah, what about that? Um, I don't know that I want color over there, but I'm not wild about that severity. Well, what, um, what about a little pattern tissue? Yeah, let's try that. Whoops. Yeah, that's better. Do we want a little down there, though? Or a little more white paint down there? I don't know. Well. I think this is one of those, <laughs> it needs just the exact amount of something and I'm not hitting on it just exactly right. All right, let's try that. Yeah, do you believe I'm putting something this little on? No, because it's all wound around the toothpick and I can't get it off. <sighs> yeah, you know, I think that kind of was it. All right, let me clean up this mess 
get the glue off me and wait for that stuff to dry so I could trim it and we'll come back and look at them okay okay I'm back they're done this one I did add a stamp number to the bottom there I just thought it needed something and I a word just didn't come to my mind right away so I stamped a number which does have Rudy significance there but I think that's done it's pretty cool and this one I did ink black around the edges I like that one too I do like this yellow over here I that I like that more than I kind of thought I would as I was putting it down all right you want to see his one more time there's his examples and there's mine and yeah I would do this again if I remember you know sometimes you always forget about your materials and stuff but it, it's effective it's fun and yeah as you can see this did glue a little funky I guess that's where the glue is there um, the other ones I don't notice it so much but so there but it does look you know mixed media ish collage collage I'm trying to say you know so it's cool all right well thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day out there